Hey, what's up Aquamigos? And a big hello to everyone else who is joining us today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate that. And what I'm going to be doing in today's video is I'm going to show you guys how to replace the UV bulb in a Jabao UV clarifier. Now, I have the 55 watt UV clarifier. The specific model of the UV clarifier that I have is the Jabao CW55. And I ordered the UV bulbs on Amazon. Let me go ahead and show you guys the box. We're going to be doing an unboxing real quick. So this right here is the box that they came in. There are two UV bulbs in here. I believe they are, if I remember correctly, 21 inches in length and they cost me $36.90 on Amazon. I'll go ahead and link the Amazon page down in the description of this video in case you wanna look at that yourself. So let's go ahead and open this up and then I'll show you guys how to replace the bulb in the UV clarifier. So you might notice that I am wearing gloves to handle the light bulb, and I'm not sure how sensitive this bulb itself is, but typically with like bulbs or even if you have any electronics that might use tubes like mostly audio equipment, you don't want to touch them with your hands because what happens is oil from your hands will get onto the bulb, the bulb will heat up, and then that spot where the oil is, that spot will heat up and it'll basically just shorten the lifespan of your bulb. And the package did come with with two of these, although I only need one. The reason I got the pack of two is because it came out cheaper per unit if you buy two than just one. But let's go ahead and install this in the UV clarifier. All right, guys, so here's the pool pond and here is my Jabao UV clarifier. And we'll take a look at everything else after I show you guys how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to unplug this, unplug the pump, and then because we're going to have the pond pump unplugged for a little while, there's going to be no water going to my filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my filter media out of the waterfall filter and I'm going to put it in a bucket full of pond water just to make sure I don't crash the cycle and kill all that beneficial bacteria in the filter. So let's go ahead and do that first and then I'll show you guys how to open this up. All right, guys, so now we're back over at the UV clarifier and it's actually not that hard to take this apart. So if you look at this end right here, it's going to be the end where the power cable's coming out. If you look on this side, I guess this would be the back side, there's a little button down here and all you really do is you push that button and then you twist this and you can actually remove this whole part and when you pull it out, the light bulb will come with it and everything. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So as you can see, I took the whole thing out and this glass casing right here is protecting the bulb inside. So we need to remove that glass casing and to do that, we must unscrew this right here and then we should be able to just pull this glass casing off. So as you can see, I have the old bulb here and you can see that I'm just holding it with my hand because I'm replacing it. I don't really care about this one anymore. And there's just a few pieces you wanna make sure that you don't lose when you're doing this. So just make sure that you don't lose the washer that goes around the glass tube. There's going to be this piece inside that kind of holds the light bulb in place at the end of the tube. And then over here, you have this piece that goes over the light bulb and then this piece that kind of goes over the glass tube and secures it in place. And of course, you don't want to get the inside of the tube wet or the connection in here. You don't want to get any of that wet. So just be mindful of that. And let's go ahead and put in our new UV bulb.
All right guys, so that's how you would replace the bulb on that Jabao UV clarifier, but I just gotta show you guys something really quick. So before putting this whole thing back together, I just wanted to make sure that the light bulb worked beforehand. And usually if you do put it back together, you would be able to see the glow of the light through this window right here. But as you can see, you can't see anything. And the light bulb actually didn't work when I reconnected it. So I actually took this whole part which is like the power supply. And I brought it to the master, you know, my dad, and he took a look at it and um, it looked like all the terminals inside that make the connection with the light bulb were all corroded and rusted. So we actually even went in there and sanded all those to make them clean again. After doing that, it still didn't work. So what we did is we actually tested it to see if it was actually able to get power through those terminals. And it looked like it wasn't getting power. The light bulb wasn't able to get power from the power supply. So turns out my power supply actually went bad. So even though I put the new bulb in, it still didn't work because my power supply is bad. So either I need to order a new power supply or I need to reorder the whole thing, which would suck. Hopefully I don't have to do that. But I just wanna make it clear, if your power supply is good, that is how you replace the bulb. The bulb would work if your power supply is good. I just wanted to mention that really quick because um, you know, when my old bulb stopped working, I thought it was just because I needed a new bulb. It turns out the bulb wasn't the issue. It was the actual power supply. So if you replace your UV bulb and it still doesn't work, it's probably your power supply. So I'm gonna try to reach out to Jabao and see what they say. Um, aside from that, guys, I think I know what I'm going to do about my pre-filter. So I've been talking about it for a while, but I need to build like a nice pre-filter for my pond pump, which is right down there and it gets clogged a lot. So I need to build some sort of pre-filter. I have a pretty good idea. So I'm I'm going to order the supplies that I need for that. Hopefully they'll be here in time for next week's video. If they are, that will be the topic of next week's video. It will be building the pre-filter. And let me show you this real quick. If you guys saw last week's video, check it out. My water lilies, they're over here. These are the ones that I propagated in last week's video. See how they're all up at the surface now? They literally came up the very next day. So they're doing really well. You know, we got the other plant in the middle doing pretty well as well. So aside from the UV clarifier, everything else is doing pretty good. Um, check out the pond plants, check these out. The floating plants that I have in quarantine. I believe in one more week, you know, they'll be safe enough for me to go ahead and put them in the pond. As you can see, we're getting a whole bunch of new growth in the centers. So I think they're gonna pull through. I was actually a little bit worried about them before, but it looks like they're going to pull through. I think they'll be fine. Ooh. All right guys, so I'm just gonna do a quick sit down talking segment. This is gonna be like my inspirational speech for this video, just really quick. I just wanted to mention, within the next month or so, I should be hitting 2 million channel views on YouTube. And some of you guys have been following me for a long time. And almost a year ago, I hit my first million channel views. That was like a really huge milestone for myself. It was like a personal goal I'd been striving for, for a while. And I just wanted to say, it took me years to get to 1 million, yet it took me less than one year to reach 2 million. So just for some quick unsolicited advice for anybody trying to do anything, when you figure out something that's working for you, don't just sit down and coast on it, but instead double down on what is working. And if you want to get somewhere faster, just work harder and put in more hours. And yeah, I just wanted to say that really quick because I'm gonna hit 2 million soon. Let's go ahead and do a quick feeding over at the pond and then I have some shout outs. All right guys, so now I have a couple shout outs for this video. I have a shout out for Vertigo117 and I have a shout out for Joel Shaw. Thank you guys so much for being Aquamigos. I really appreciate it, you guys rock. And next week, I'll let you guys know what happens as far as getting that power supply replaced and I will also hopefully be able to get started on that pre-filter.
So if you guys did like this video or if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. If you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. If you would like a shout out in my next fish video, all you have to do is go down to the comments below and comment, I am an Aquamigo and I will shout you out in my next fish video. I post new fish videos every Friday. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.